If you've ever wondered how to rotate like a pro in Call of Duty Warzone, well, today I have a perfect video for you. It's going to be filled with a lot of fantastic tips. And if you enjoy and you wouldn't mind and you'd like to see more videos like this, I'd appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's dive in. So a lot of people want to understand how a professional Call of Duty player rotates and why. Why, why do they rotate the way that they rotate? That's what everybody misses. It's like, hey... I see that you rotated this way and you told me that you rotated this way and and like cool and everything but like why did you rotate that way what is the reasoning behind it and i understand that because like here's the deal i used to have issues with it too i never understood how to rotate and the big thing for me was just honest to god playing a lot like playing a whole ton and watching a few youtube videos here and there that were just like pretty helpful i'm i'm waiting to see if someone hops into here real quick I don't think anyone is there should be a guy at the end of that tunnel as there usually is is what ends up happening oh shoot what ends up happening every single time is if, if it's a drop from this angle someone's gonna land bottom almost guaranteed it's very rare that you don't get that but uh let's look at the circle so the circle's gonna be coming this way just in some way shape or form oh shoot the guy right below me yeah that's a good place that is good plays i just gave myself a pat on the back don't worry about it <laughs> that was so weird dude um either way we know the circle is going to come down that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play peak for a while. The class setup we're going to be using today has an HDR in it. I think that's going to be kind of fun. We do have that right there. So what I'm thinking, this might not work, but I'm going to go play donut up here. That guy's dead. I'm going to take his cash real quick. Anyone could come in at basically any time. That guy landed right down below. Someone could be hitting that, but no one is. At the very least, it's interesting. I'm going to grab that and just chuck it off for the heck of it. The only issue is... You can't hear everyone. I'm also being hunted. I think that's this guy over here. It could be, or it could be a guy down below. Right now, my goal is to just keep high ground, because no matter what, if I keep high ground, I'm pretty much vibing. Okay, so he has high ground is the funny thing. He's like right there. Like, it's physically impossible to fight that guy. That's frustrating. What we could do... So he cracked his armor. Oh, does he keep going for this, dude? I, I can't see anything over that is the frustrating thing. I think he plays it again. That's it. All right. He's just like willing to waste my ammo is the big thing. So what I need to do is just drop right here, grab this guy's stuff. Ooh. There's literally no way that I did not kill him. That's insane. Bet he hit fired. No? What? It's all good. We're gonna come back in here. We got two rounds till we fight. We're gonna drop down here. We're gonna look, see how it's going for them. Got a bunch of Schleemans in here. Uh, I'm just trying to paint your red, bud. Could you just hold still for just just a second? Oh, that's not it. Okay, so it's gonna be this guy. I want to paint this guy red, and the reason why is because it's so gosh dang dark in here, man. Do you hold still for just a second? Stop, stop moving. You're being such a weirdo. Just, just stand. Why are you wiggling, dude? Are you, are, do you think you're like stutter stepping me right now? Like what's going on, dude? Win here and you return to the We're going to push straight up to the right. 
He's also gonna come over here. So we can just land right on our loadout. We have the circle coming in on our backside. So we need to be careful when we land on this. I am just gonna land right on it. I'm not joking. I'm not even gonna like think twice about it. Um, reason being, I just don't see the point in not doing it is the big thing. And I'm stuck. Like if I don't do it, what ends up happening is, uh, I just don't get my load in. It's like the saddest thing ever. I should have changed my reticle. Really, really should have. Also, I need sniper ammo. I don't ever use the HDR. How hard is it to get that like cross reticle or whatever? Do I already have, should I already have it? Like, what do you, how do you get it? I don't know what I'm saying here. What do you do to get it? Who, who do you, who do you guys slap around and get it? This guy's directly above me, really? I don't want to fight this guy. What I honestly want is to kill that guy over there. What I should be able to do, if I play my cards right, he's right down inside. Got that guy gone though, which is pretty cool. I think slide of hand is the play. I'm using focus on it. Yeah, you're gone out of here. Your grandmother's got a nice pair of booty cheeks. I'm just saying. I definitely just saw that guy right there. You... He's, he's got to come up, right? I'm like thoroughly terrified. Now look, this is a great example of like when to rotate. What I've been doing is I've kind of just been keeping high ground right here. But now we're going to have to rotate. And I like don't have a choice of it. But what I can do is take the best rotations that I can. So right here, I know that if I take the right side, I'm going to be dodging like a big open area. I mean, I am trading it for another big open area, but that is neither here nor there. Hold on. Oh, I thought I'd have it. I was hoping there should still be some sniper ammo from. Yeah, from this guy. Ooh. Shot. Oh, you see that guy right there? guy definitely right there Never mind, forget that. just saw him he might have just jumped off though is the thing and we can just slow push in we have quite a bit of time here it is second circle well I screwed the pooch. We now don't have a lot of time. The issue now is that with this guy below us, we... I don't know how to aim the HDR straight up. Oh my God. Yeah, I have literally no idea how to aim this gun at all. Like, close range, I can pull it off. But, like, when they're flying, it's so different from the other snipers. What should I be looking for here? 
I'm kind of just staying on the edge until I know that I need to move in. There's definitely a guy hitting that right there. My whole thing is that I have someone behind me. So when you have someone behind you, you just really don't want to like push in or anything. You want to wait and see if you can catch them first. So I know that he's obviously down there. So what they're going to do is they're probably going to take that, uh, that balloon. That's probably the play. Honest to God. So I'm waiting. Enemy dropping into the AO. There is literally no way. How are you supposed to hit these? Is it like, is there any lead time for it at all? Or is it just like a straight shot? Because I'm super, super confused. Oh, you have got to be tickling my pickle and calling me Deborah. So right now... I'm coming down, but that guy's shooting someone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hope that he killed the other dude. And I'm going to just miss every bullet. Then I'm going to finally kill him. So now I'm just like in the circle, right? And everybody's heard of uh, Iceman Isaac's pinwheel rotation, right? Every, everybody here? Whoa, he's got to be like right there. Literally has to be. So that guy, somebody just called in a UAV. My issue is, is... First of all, how am I not jumping on this? That makes literally physically no sense. I I just did this like last game. I'm sorry. I This needs to happen. I'm so upset. Neither of these are working. What's going on? Did they I'm going to I'm going to lose. Okay. All right. And look at this. I can't jump up top. Because I can't mantle anything, I'm straight up going to die. What a joke, man. Back in it to win it. Uh, so, I didn't get a rotate early because I was too busy trying to figure that out. Uh, but what we can do, I, I don't want to rotate fields is the big thing. So we're actually going to rotate left. Because if we can rotate and keep high ground here at the same time, it's going to be the best play. The only issue is, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to rotate down and hit this. And the reason why is we want to keep high ground. That's my goal at all times. Just keep the highest high ground that you can. Yes, I'm playing very different than I normally do. And the reason why is because I don't know how to use the HDR. But this is a perfect example for you guys that might not be able to hit all your shots, right? So we're just going to rotate straight in. And you don't have to do this. The best bet is to like kind of rotate around the edge. But the issue comes whenever you recognize that unless you're in an absolute bot lobby, people are going to be checking their backside. So what I like to do is kind of just like push right in and then be that guy that checks their backside. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just go up, get up here. And then I'm going to see if anybody's crossing this bridge pretty late. I mean, it's normally what you'd see. You see this guy right here? You have. He's going to fly off. Three, two, one. Just took a second. Just took me a second. I just got to get it together. He just got shot from like above. It's... Is he at the tree? What? Like, am I legally blind? What's going on? The reality of the situation is I have no plates. 
and I'm now stuck at the edge of the circle, right? So you've got to be questioning yourself like, okay, I got caught. What do I do? Well, in most cases, if you have a sniper, you can do something like that. But a lot of you guys aren't going to be running snipers anymore, right? So you'll end up wanting to just try and rotate around or trying to trick them. In that situation, I made him think that I was going to be rotating out and I just didn't. He had a buy station, right? Yeah, he did. It'd be really nice, actually, to just go ahead and throw that right here. Grab the muni back. I can grab a UAV because I... Yeah, that's the only place the UAV can be coming from. Got another guy. Get that guy out of here. And we got people down below. And again, we're keeping high ground. When we get these late game rotations, if you have a UAV, you mark where that enemy is and you stay high. Stay as high as you can for as long as you can. It's like a slow rotation in and keep the high ground. Because if you keep the high ground, you get the head glitches. So that's the reason that I like to slow rotate in. Sometimes I go directly in. Oh, he was like right there, right? Sometimes I like to slowly go in. Sometimes I like to quickly go in. It depends how, like, how big my ego is that day, right? Sometimes I'll go as fast as I physically can. Sometimes I'll go slow. Like, right now, I'm not trying to, like, over-challenge. It would be ideal if I could go grab this, uh, this bounty from over here. Oh, someone just grabbed the bounty. Perfect. Contact. I'll live tag that. Nice. I'm telling you, the HDR is so stupid broken. Like, if you're gonna take away like the Swiss in the car, like we need helmets. I'm gonna I'm gonna like start a petition, I swear to god. He was oh wait. That guy's literally going to be coming out that door or the window. If I'm him, I'm coming out the... Oh. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Did you see it? No. He saw me, though. And we're still at the edge of the gas, right? Still at the edge of the gas. Still playing it slow. Interesting. This is where things get difficult. We're gonna want like a place like up here, right? Cause we have a sniper rifle. So you wanna like put yourself in a position where the enemies can't really see you. Like even if they know that you're there, you don't want them looking your direction you want to be the third party or when you're playing solos i mean we're on 16 kills right now i got six spectators i don't know why i always have a ton of spectators it's actually nutty i think i just heard someone down there i don't know if that's where the gunshots came from there's got to be a guy in that building right i'm gonna mark that we're gonna push this way just a little bit Oh, you see that? And that's where we end up losing that because for some reason it didn't headshot him. That's okay. The big thing is knowing that people have to come in from behind us now that we've moved in early. So we're watching our back consistently. I, 
I don't know how I feel about this. Which is right there. It would be gr great to get that. I just heard someone dying. I'm untag. Ten remaining. Knock that guy. What? How? I just shot him twice to the head. That's actually one of the craziest things that's ever happened. Like in the history of Warzone with an HDR. Okay. The big thing is we kind of knew that was going to happen. We're going to go back up top. It would be very intelligent of the guy that threw that up to... Oh, that sucks. And again, we keep high ground. If if I can... Nice. Nice. Okay, so we can keep this high ground right here. Wait, there's a guy right below me. guy below me has got me in a tough spot, right? Five remaining. Enemy precision airstrike. Stay alert. Need an airstrike on my position now. Nice. We knew that there was a guy above me. I didn't actually mean to cluster the tree that I clustered. But now I'm just kind of like rotating to the right. Because I got precision. I had to back off. I did end up hitting this guy that was right over here. That was the guy. He was TTV, by the way. I do not want his gas mask. I want to keep mine now again we're keeping the high the high ground i i don't know where i'd be if i didn't have this lucky lucky high ground i got three people left in the match we know that one guy's way over there it'd be really nice if i could actually get up top but that's just not happening So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate around. This guy just hit me with that. And that guy was behind. I mean, GG's. I feel like I gave a pretty good representation of why I rotated that way. I think a lot of it's just like keep the high ground, stay above people. I think I said it like a million times. So, hey, if you enjoyed, make sure to watch out for the, uh, the video on your screen right now. I'm just saying. Have a good day.